three times, two times. He's back. I'm back. Horrorcore King, Poltergeist OD, freshly off an appearance on the local news station. Yeah, I was on the <laughs> news here in Alberta. Isn't that weird? That's wild, man. So what, did they hit you up on, like, uh, they slide into your DMs or some shit? No, my homeboy on Instagram hit me up, and he, like, works at this station in Lloydminster, Alberta. It's two stations, I guess, but uh, he had, like, caught wind of my Stephen King song that dropped yesterday, and he like showed it to one of the to one of the interviewers there who's like also a big Stephen King fan and she's like yes yeah, set it up so we just had a little <laughs> Skype meeting had a conversation and like I didn't know if it was like radio or TV or like what was going on I I don't I don't know I'm so used to doing podcasts right right so, right so is this like, <laughs> like so is this like the local like legit local news yeah man Dang. yeah it's crazy and like she she was just like okay so it'll air sometimes between like 5 and 7 and then like 5:30 my buddy sent me a link to the YouTube channel uh where they like post all their interviews and I was like holy fuck I was on the news <laughs> what happened did her did her intern get a look at the uh the kick ass video so Yeah <laughs> I sent them a copy of the video early and they like they like played oh. clips throughout the throughout the spot No but they've heard of you obviously before then right they just saw that you had something new coming out yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. the news station wasn't aware of me at that point, but oh, my boy was oh, there yeah. was already like I've been talking to him for years. So <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Well, I was happy to hear that, man. I saw I saw that post. It was awesome. Um, so yeah, last time you were here it was June eighteenth. How you been since then? Been great. Just yeah, staying busy, working well, on lots. It, has, of it hasn't been that long, so <laughs> yeah. Yeah, last year. It's same same old for me. I mean, like my hair has grown a bit since then. <laughs> yeah, I turned thirty seven. I'm I'm in uh, so I I started. Uh, you know, you're old when you start a local when you're joining a local kickball league. You know, the me people. Nice. So at least I got I got I got I got a couple of hot chicks on my team. You know? oh, oh. <laughs> but we'll we'll see what happens. You know how that is, Folter guys. Yeah, you yeah. know. One thing you is to, get, one thing is to good. use the one thing is to use the not use, but you know what I mean, to have the league on. But then the thing is, is connecting them after the game's over. Right. I mean, of course, yeah. we're going to connect during the practices and shit. But yeah. what matters is if I still have her number a year from now. That's that's what matters. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason my like brain immediately went to like get her number and wait a year to call her i don't know why. no 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 <laughs> i mean like when the le when the league is over don't do know? that <laughs> <laughs> so what's the what's the rule should i wait two weeks after the playoffs i don't think there's like... a rule man i mean like my fiance i i called her like the next day i was like hey I, when, when can we hang out let's go see a movie yeah all right well that's uh we kind of bared the lead, but not really. So this song that you were on the news for, King, and that's based on Stephen King novels. Uh, so, it's, I guess like yeah, more so the movies, but okay. like I mean the movies are fucking based on novels. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how many are we talking about here? I think I heard that you just pick lyrics from each, from each one, like literal, or did you just pick a handful or what? Talk about the process. Uh, so like what I did, uh, cause I was like, I've always been a huge Stephen King fan and I was going to do like a Stephen King villain, like maybe Pennywise or something like that, or like Randall flag. Um, but I was like, fuck man, like, what if I did them all? What if I just crammed all of them into like four minutes, no hook, just straight yeah. bars the whole time. <laughs> and I just, I don't know. I thought on that for, I'm going to say three months of just thinking about how I'm going to approach it. And then I just, just yeah, I, I finally just landed on I'm going to do all of them. So I wrote them all down on my phone and I just started like rhyming them and like piecing them together like a jigsaw puzzle, just trying to make it work somehow. And I think it took me about two years to like really have it together and make sure everything flows into the next sentence and everything. Because like you can't just have like a bar here, bar here, bar here, bar here it's yeah. going to sound random. Like it's not going to sound like it flows together or like there's a story or like a timeline mm -hmm. of it, you know? So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that took a long time, but I'm glad, I'm glad I finally finished it. I'm glad it's out. Yeah, man. I took a listen. Obviously everyone should. I think it, you're over 200 um, 
downloads or uh, views on YouTube already. You just uploaded it, what, yesterday? Yesterday, yeah. So this recording this for documentation purposes, February 17th. <laughs> so, you know, I got to keep track of all my, that's, that's one thing I do. Like when I do the best of, I don't know if you know that, but I try to, I try to organize a shit show here on Sensibly Cynical. That's good. Time, I, I, you know? I try, but I'm real bad at it. Like, I'm bad with memorizing. It's days. crazy as we almost lined up. We almost did the days perfectly from your last time. Um. So what's funny is I'm going to give you a, a teaser on here. One of my, the last guest I had on the podcast, I don't know if you saw, but his name's Houdini Black. He's actually the, one of the managers or VP for Busy Bone at Bone Thugs and Harmony. Oh, really? And I just Wait, gave, I just gave you, I just gave you one of the 10 on our top 10 list here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so he, so he's like, Dude, uh, I, well, I had his brother uh, on, I had his brother on cause we were like podcast friends. I had okay. his brother on Swift and then Swift was like, Hey, yeah, man, I guess, uh, Houdini liked my interview with his brother and was like, yeah, Hey okay. man, can, can you have me on? I'm like, dude, what the fuck? You guys asked me twice. Can you have me on? He says like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think so. I think it would squeeze you in. Fucking, fucking since we said, I'm like busy about and shit. He's like, he's like, yeah, I can, he's like, uh, he's like, yeah, I can, I can get, uh, contact with like busy bone and shit. I'm like, are we talking about like the fucking OG busy yeah, bone? Like, <laughs> Paul Tuck and Harmony busy bone? <laughs> yeah, I'm being dead ass. Um, so yeah, so anyways, uh, so off air, I told you about this top 10 list. It is a legit list. You can go on the website if you want, uh, Poltergeist to verify, but it's Far Out Mag <laughs> Far Out Magazine. Somewhere in the UK, shout out to our UK listeners. They listed 10 greatest horrorcore artists of all time. And this was in 2020. So just coming one, out of the two, so probably five. so probably some, you know, no name intern during the pandemic got bored and was like, hey, let's list our <laughs> top ten. Well, horrorcore rap's not like a huge thing. No, so. but I mean, like, what the fuck, Far they... Out Magazine? Like, yeah, <laughs> you know? I don't know, maybe it's huge. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I don't want to get sued by the uh, owner of it for. I know uh, some of my was it defamation? Was it def rappers. defamation lawsuits? You know. All right. Uh, what do you want to do? You want to start with number or say number one for last, right? Yeah, let's go, ten, let's go ten. Let's go ten to top. <laughs> All right. We'll see if you've heard of these people, because I I should have I should have actually looked into them and wrote down their top and all that, but I didn't because I have you, so you could just tell me yeah. about them, you know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right, ten, insane poetry. Insane poetry is awesome. I follow them on Instagram, Facebook. Fucking is that amazing. high low? Right. I already agree. I already agree with this list. Is that high low? That's that's <laughs> that's like pretty high for me. Okay, so you agree with it being in the top ten? I yeah, I mean like maybe all not time. My top ten, but I would agree with it being in a top ten. Okay, because it's, so it's, it's all personal <laughs> preference, but he he is great. Some guy I think that did this list. All right, I bet you'll know all ten. Uh, number nine is Kid Crusher. Kid Crusher, yeah, yo, I I might be doing a song with Kid Crusher. I like just hooked up with the dude who uh who says he can like get in contact with him and like. Well, you can let Kid Crusher know that he's on he's on number nine on UK's top ten. Hell yeah, UK <laughs> knows what's up. Number eight, Bone Thugs and Harmony. I just listed yeah, them. Yeah. I I didn't realize they were horrorcore until I dove into. Oh, it. they got lots of horrorcore stuff, man. Yeah, they're like one of the OGs and everything. All right, one of my favorite names is number seven, Cool Keith. Cool Keith, yeah. yeah. You know him. <laughs> Yo, Cool Keith was like one of the first rappers that like got me into rap when I transitioned from like being only about metal to like other genres. All right, so we have six left. What are some big names that you're waiting to hear? I know there's some that you're that you I'm know are in here. Hung, personally, you're waiting for what? Brother Lynch Hung. Uh, I'm not. I'm not seeing that. Oh, snubbed. You got snubbed. Yeah. Bad um, list. Bad list. <laughs> Number six. Kung Fu Vampire. Kung, yo, I've done several <laughs> shows with him. I've chilled with him. He's actually a really cool guy. Well, number, he's number six. You, you should tell these people this. You should. Yeah, man. I should tag him. I should be like, yo, you're on this fucking... He, he's think... super chill, and he, he, he talks to all his fans and everything like that. Well, he's number six. 
Number five is someone that you've mentioned on the podcast before. Okay. Tech nine. Tech nine. Okay. Is number, is I number can five. Like a, some of Tech Nine stuff being horror core, but like I wouldn't call him a horror core <laughs> rapper. All right. Number four is Ghetto Boys. Ghetto Boys. Ghetto Boys. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. They're like some of the originators of horrorcore. They like they like created the genre. Would you agree? We're on the this exactly. is a... they, they have to they have to be on there. They're like pioneers of the genre. <laughs> so. One of my favorites is three. Shaggy Two Dope. You know. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's ICP. Yo, he's he's a, uh he's insane about clown posse. You know? Yeah. What's that? He's about to tour and he's coming to Edmonton here. Oh yeah, ICP's number three. Okay. Now there's two spots left. Can you name one of the two? I'm gonna say Eminem because everybody has nope. him on every nope. rap list. Really? Oh wow. Nope. One of them's from New York. Okay. Okay. One of them's from New uh, York. I mean, like, if you want, if Tech Nine's on the list, then like Biggie has a lot of horrorcore nope. stuff. Nope. Uh, DMX did some horrorcore nope. stuff. Um, because I'll thinking... just tell you, I'll just tell you because we could be here all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, can, <laughs> I can just name rappers, but number two is Twisted. Twist. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so that's what that's it says. Fair. What? That's fair. Number two is Twisted. Hey, I've also done a show with Twisted too. It says Esham is number one. Yeah. Yeah. Esham. And it also I can't says agree with that too. Like Esham. Esham is another one. It like says the Esham, place, and like... then. One is also Flatliners. So are they or is that like part of group or yeah, something? Yeah, flat, Flatliners would be in my personal top three because like Flatliners, um, Satanic Verses, um, Graveyard Nightmare, like those songs are like staples in horrorcore. So to this me. guy, this guy copped out. He put both of them as number one. It's like, can you even do that? <laughs> I'm like, email this guy. Probably just indecisive like I am. Like my my top ten lists always turn into like top thirty lists and shit. So, like I can't I can't narrow it down. So what's one that you're like is too low? Like, too low? Yeah, like it should be higher. Or is it all is it right, you think, all this? You know I mean, Is it I would acceptable? Say it's pretty, is it I would an acceptable list? Is it an acceptable list? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I like all those artists. Yeah. All right. He's Sean. I have to. Uh, he's has a Wikipedia. I noticed that. You know, he's legit. Oh yeah, he's huge. He was just here with um, uh, who was it? I'm sure if I, I would have, I'm sure no. if I would have let you keep guessing, you would have got to him eventually. Oh, probably. <laughs> like I just didn't know, like, cause horrorcore has like eras too, right? Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> that's cool. It, that's a that was a fun uh, fun little game there. Um, yeah, it's cool, man. I've never done that on a podcast before. That's cool. It's it's neat. Um, I just thought of this off the whim idea. I saw this list. I was like, you know what? That'd be kind of cool. Um, so to go back to your song, I'm a big 1408 fan. I like the movie. And it, you did reference that in there. I so did. It's appreciated. It's a pre- I appreciated I that. Dude, that, movie, that movie's so great. And <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson over great. there, you know, the hotel manager. I mean, <laughs> as oh, yeah. well, as well. Yeah. Um, did you have all this stuff? Like, did you have to go back and be like, oh, yeah, that was that. Or did you know most of this information like before you did? You know what I mean? Like, how how much backlog did you have to like work? Oh, I knew it all. OK, there was already. I, I'm a huge I'm a huge King fan and like just a for, like a movie nerd mostly. But. Yeah, I've I've seen them all. I just had to like it took a long time to do the video because I had to go through like four hour, six hour mini series for like two, three seconds of footage. Mm-hmm. And it's like I know what I want, I know what I referenced. I just got to like find <laughs> that scene. Yeah. So what you've been up to overall, man? Besides grinding on this, you grinded on something else already. Is it just one on to the next, onto the next? Oh what? yeah, man. Uh, I got two albums I'm working on: a solo album and an album with uh, my group, Obscene Division. Um, I got a ton of singles I'm gonna put out in the meantime. I got some videos that I'm gonna be recording pretty soon. Um, just a lot of stuff. I'm opening for D12 in April. I got another show. D12, in May. my band. That was a great song. Eminem. 
<laughs> yeah, man. Eminem's not going to be there. It's Kaniva. No, but I know, but I know, just... like those rappers are like huge to me. Like that that that's song a, put them on the map, movie. though. I think that song, like, like you know, when I when I heard my band, you know, uh, Eminem D12, that was it. And like it blew up, and it like I think like D12 was like pretty known from uh, before for like Purple Pills, I guess Purple yeah. Hill. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, like my band really like drove people to that because that was around the time when Eminem was like top of the charts. So uh, the solo album is almost done. I got like three, four more songs and a couple features I'm waiting on. And that'll be coming out within, <laughs> I'm going to say a couple of months because I'm going to like save up to like put some money into promo and stuff because mm. I really want it to go well. But uh, yeah, that should be coming out really soon. I got an EP. It's six tracks with Obscene Division. It's called Regenerate. It's our first actual official album, and we've I've known these yeah. guys for yeah, like you to... eighteen years. Yeah, and I like we had a couple of times. An you... album. We we put out a, a mixtape in 2011, 2012 called KSW. But like until then, like from then till now, it's all just been like singles here and there whenever we can get together because we all have separate lives. It's hard to get together as a group. Yeah. Yeah. I remember you talking about them the first time you were on. And uh, that's awesome. That's that awesome that you that's awesome that you are um, releasing something. Um, I was just chilling with them yesterday. We were talking about <laughs> what we were going to do because they're they're going to be on stage with me for the D12 show. So I was like, let's do some obscene division songs while we're up there. And I want to shout you out too, man, because you don't have to come on this podcast, but you were like, you were like, I'm down. So I appreciate that, man. We're homies, man. I, consi like, I, I consider you, a, but yeah, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not up to much during the day, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, my downloads are getting better actually, you know, so it's good to hear, man. And <laughs> I noticed that you're not doing Instagram live anymore. No, I stopped kind of stopped doing that shit. You know, it wasn't Is there a reason for that or um, just... I wasn't, I wasn't getting like, I mean, I was getting some content, but the reels are more of what I'm doing now. Like, I feel like yeah. I get more, more, I get personally get more um, traction with reels and stuff. Yeah. Like, Cause like, that's just my, recording. that's just my personal, that's just my personal channel, how it's running. Yeah. I'll get some, but I get more if I post, you know, the reel and it with the song in the background. <laughs> yeah. Type deal. Plus, like, you can, you can cut it up into like a million pieces when you like, pre-record it and you can edit out parts you yeah, don't want and you get things. and if you do like three in a week you get as much as you would in a live stream yeah so it's just it's just how i choose i have respect for people that do the live still just it's not my plus i'm on the go a lot man i've you know starting a new job soon hopefully yeah it's kind of uh, hard to like schedule your content around life sometimes <laughs> yeah so i just do a lot of these um sit sit downs and i'm i don't do i don't podcast as much you probably noticed that too my episodes are more spaced out yeah i do my i, I do I, know, I mean like i used your to podcast. Do, yeah i used to do like i do i used to like turn them out man like you do uh well, <laughs> you know singles uh what was what was your like most what was your busiest year like the most uh, songs you put out a year do you uh I'm going to say 2015 because that's when I put out my first album, Keep It PG. Just because that was like, I don't remember how many songs, but it must what have been like, must have been 12, 13 songs. Yeah, if there's someone listening to you for like, I don't think so. But just in case there's someone that's listened to you for like the first time, either through this or through another podcast, like, you know, this year, what's one song from your uh, discography that they should uh, check out? Uh, yeah, definitely that. King. Definitely King. That's my best I mean, song. I'm going to be using that song to promote myself. I, I mean, that was self-explanatory. I was, I meant the, like the one, like your older kind of stuff. Like the horror movie ones. Yeah. Uh, Pumpkinhead, Michael Myers. That was my favorite. I use that shit all the time for promoting you, man. <laughs> I use that. Thanks, man. Just even for I love that song. promoting you. Thank you. Yeah. I love that song, man. That song's awesome. Um, all right, so we did the we did this list. What's your number one? Was your number one on this on the top ten? It was not. My number one's Brother Lynch Hung. Oh yeah, I didn't see that on there. <laughs> He's like the reason I started rapping about horror stuff. He's just incredible. So you're like, you don't like this list just because of that, right? You had ten spots to put him up. I mean, I like the list. Don't get me wrong. Don't... <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm not uh, gonna. I'm not gonna DM this guy or like stalk this yeah. guy. 
every list every list is going to look different right like i would have different artists and maybe some of those artists in different spots i'd have to really think about it and to be honest he's talking about people from like a different like country like <laughs> like you know he this guy's in well, uk think, talking I, about I, like american pretty much all of those guys are american yeah well this guy could be american just living in the uk so yeah. you know you know who knows yeah. um like, one of my favorite rappers from the uk is dirty dyke and like the four owls like the high focus crew is like really what i'm into from the uk and mm. some of that stuff is kind of horrorcore and to be honest I was gonna say something I probably shouldn't say, but <laughs> uh, I, some of some of the some of their society rules are kind of on par with America, to be honest. I know you're in <laughs> you're in uh, Canada, right? But yeah, um, I don't know. I agree with some of this stuff. I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to tour over there too. Like you know, do the whole France. Oh man, London, their shows go crazy. Yeah. I've seen like every video you see from the UK from like a metal show or a rap show. It's nuts every time. Like the king and queen stuff, that'd be kind of cool over here, you know. But yeah, <laughs> you're born into born into power. I don't know if it's that cool, but uh, <laughs> you know, sounds awful to me. <laughs> Nepotism at its <laughs> finest, at its finest. <laughs> um. So how many how many podcasts do you have you been doing lately? Do you, do you just have you been getting a lot of I opportunities? Got, I think I booked like eight or nine podcasts this month alone. Like the second but not, I, none yeah. of them, none of them's like sensibly cynical or with a cool name as sensibly cynical. That's right. That's right. This is number one. <laughs> Cause it's the name that matters. Like, you know, yeah. Branding. But uh no, man. Um, that's cool. So you eight or nine? Yeah, man. And I got like more for next month. The second I announced that I was gonna drop this Stephen King song, everybody hit me up and they're like, come on the podcast to talk about it. Cause like yeah. I've been talking about this song for like two, three well, years. Like, is there anything it's about this? Everybody song? finally mm. like gets it. Mm -hmm. Well, talk about talk about your favorite like um, films. Like, what were the ones that you did you? What were the ones that you were like? I have to get that first. Did you start at the beginning of the song, or did you all piece it together? Like, what was? Uh, what, I, well, I started. I started with the list, and I right, just started okay, just went... them, like one after another. So, kind of just all of them. Yeah, and the rhymes. <laughs> The rhymes come to me every now and then, and I'll whip out my phone and be like, "I gotta get this down" because I'm always <laughs> thinking about it, right? Like even when I I'm thought... at work or when I'm out and about, I just fucking, yeah. I'm always yeah. thinking about that next bar. I like how you had the keywords in yellow too, like highlight, like uh, yeah, highlight. just that was cool. just to really because, like, I mean, you kind of got to foolproof this stuff, man. I mean, Cause, yeah, because people are like, people, it's one like it's tough to say. There's a lot of idiots out there who <laughs> just like hammering it in and making sure that they know that that's a reference so that their brain kind of like clicks. I with mean, it. hold it, guys. It is 2024. Learning is, you know, at a learning. <laughs> we're done learning. <laughs> I gotta down, do phone. something else. And like, if I'm working on music, if I I might be on my phone writing a song and like work, listening to beats yeah. and like doing that. <laughs> I'm not answering people. I'm not distracting myself with that mm -hmm. a lot of people uh, a lot of people get mad about it and they're like why are you ignoring me like i'm not ignoring anybody i'm just fucking <clears throat> i guess i'm ignoring everybody but yeah well i think we talked about this last time but i'll talk about it again who's like your biggest inspiration uh for like rap yeah just rap in general oh man um it's so hard to say because like some of my biggest inspirations aren't even rap. It's like metal bands and like jazz guitar players. <laughs> like, well, listen, uh, man, I want to I want to get a nice list here. All right. Uh, shit. I mean, like Brother Lynch Hung is obviously number one. Mm -hmm. uh, G Mo Ski, uh, who okay. I have a song with on uh, on YouTube and Spotify and everything. It's called FTFO. Flip the fuck out. It's a great song. Um, <laughs> Everyone should check it out. Check it out. Yeah. Uh, I listen to a lot of like, uh, like newer trap guys too, like, uh, like Puya, Fat Nick, Shakewell, uh, Tara Reed, like that crew, and like <laughs> yeah. Suicide Boys and stuff. I love all the stuff that they're doing. Bones is great. Um, but for like, for like older guys, like Three Six Mafia, Wu Tang Clan, I love Wu Tang. Um, Wu Tang Clan, man, that was, <laughs> that was it, dude. Uh, I was also like, of course, Tupac, Biggie, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. No. See, like, Tupac, I never got into the Tupac, Tupac Biggie, Biggie Smalls. Like, way later. Tupac was the OG, man. Yeah, it took me a long time <laughs> to, like, even, like, get to his music. Because I just, like, I don't know. I was so stuck in, like... I feel like I feel like everyone it's shit. everyone's favorite, but I feel like California Love is still so underrated. That is underrated. Uh, I don't know about underrated. I mean, it gets what it deserves. Maybe maybe Dear Mama is underrated. <laughs> okay, I I could agree with that. Dear Mama is underrated. Uh, you would actually agree with that. Dear Mama is underrated. Yeah, yeah, I, I think so too. That's what I meant to begin with. Let's let's put an eraser to the previous comment. Okay. Um, um, pull your guys. Where can people find you, man? You can find me on any streaming platform you use. So like Spotify, <laughs> Apple Music, YouTube Music, Deezer, Tidal, whatever you use to stream Deezer. music. Like Christ OD, yeah. you'll find me. <laughs> uh, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook. Just look up Poltergeist OD anywhere. I'm there. You've been picking up uh, media steam like you were talking about. Any? Yeah. Yeah, it's wild. I like didn't expect it and it happened so quickly. Like the dude messaged me like three days ago and he's like, We're gonna set up an interview and just happened yesterday on release day, well, which is I, a great day. If, for when it you to become happen. when you become a big shot, I hope you don't forget uh minnows like me, okay? I don't think I'll ever be a big shot, but <laughs> if I if I do, I won't. Take me with you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just man. Gonna... We'll fly around Personal on my manager. I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like uh Houdini with Visibo. I'll be your personal manager, you know? Yeah, you can get me all those American shows. Be like, hey, this guy, this guy's, this guy's Canada. He know, he knows what's up. You know. Yeah, he drinks a lot of beer, so run the tab up. Yeah, yeah, it's um, it's always good chat with you, man. It's a blast. Yeah, you too. Love hanging. <laughs> all right, man. You have a good one. Okay. All right, man. All right, peace. Peace.